Hello, welcome to the channel Easy Way to Physics with Jaya. Today we will discuss about CBC Physics Grade 10, Chapter 10, Light Part 3. And in this video, we will learn about how to draw the ray diagrams, the first part of ray diagrams. Okay. And uh, here, uh, how to draw a ray diagram and how can we select the required incident ray source. So, anyone did not subscribe, please subscribe it. We will go to this uh, video. Representation of image formed by a concave mirror using ray diagram or how to draw the ray diagram in concave mirrors, in case of concave mirrors. So, before starting, we have to remember some general points. common diagrams applicable. First one is all the rays of uh, all the rays follow the laws of reflection. That is, first law of reflection is angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. And second law is incident ray, reflected ray and normal all lie in the same plane that we learned before in grade 8 itself we studied. So, this law is followed by all rays of light whether it is in the case of concave mirror, convex mirror, plane mirror. Uh, for in all the cases, these laws of reflection are applicable. Second point to remember is radius of curvature will be perpendicular to the mirror or it will act as a normal at the point of incidence. In the case of con uh, spherical mirrors, this radius of curvature, look at this diagram where the radius of curvature, every point, the radius of curvature will be behaving like a normal. You learned in mathematics, the radius of a circle will be perpendicular to that point. At every point of the circle, that radius will be perpendicular to that circle. Same thing is here also, the radius of curvature will be perpendicular to the mirror. So, here and the points are all applicable and here and the Radius of curvature is mirror in perpendicular area. All rays of light and laws of reflection follow the same To draw a ray diagram, we need only two rays. But which two rays we need? Because from an object, uh, lakhs and lakhs of rays are coming out, which two rays we will select? For that, we should know uh, which direction they are getting reflected. See the first one. The ray passing through the center of curvature of the concave mirror is reflected back along the same path. If a ray is coming along the center of curvature, through the center of curvature, it will be reflected back along the same path. This is because radius of curvature will be perpendicular to the mirror. As we uh, said just now, the incident ray fall on the mirror along the normal will come back along the same path. Normally, could a ray reflect in the other direction. Same thing is happening here also. Center of curvature kori verna oru ray na parayinadu. Adu ayinte path radius of curvature thanni ayirikya. That means that ray is normal to the mirror and it will be reflected back along the same direction. Next point, a ray parallel to the principal axis will pass through the focus after reflection. Principal axis in a parallel light mirror lake of Adikina or a ray, other than a reflected ray, Kritim item focus a good tanya ericum, passing another. Amla Nerta Padichitunda, parallel beam of ray after reflection will uh, focus at a point. That point is called focus. Same way, same thing is here also. A ray parallel to the principal axis will pass through the focus after reflection. The ray which is falling on the mirror through the focus will emerge parallel to the principal axis. Focus will go to mirror like a ray after reflection. That is the principal axis in a parallel light. Above parallel light to the ray, focus will go to the ray, parallel light to the ray. 
the ray incident obliquely to the principal axis is reflected obliquely from a concave mirror. Uh, oblique at means cherry vision or ray. Principal axis node or angle on daki cherry vision or ray. After reflection, it goes obliquely. Cherry the nearicum, marina reflected upon that. You may get a question uh, like uh, why the incident ray, if the ray is incident obliquely, the reflected ray also will be. Uh, oblique to the principal axis. Give reason. So you can write the answer as radius of curvature will be perpendicular to the mirror or it will act as a normal. The radius of curvature itself will be acting as a normal at that point of incidence and the ray which fall oblique, obliquely on a concave mirror reflect in such a direction that it follow the law of reflection i is equal to r. So to make sure that it follow the law of reflection, it reflects in such a direction. Now we learned if a ray of light parallel to the principal axis will pass through the focus after reflection and if it is falling on the mirror through the focus, it will be parallel to the principal axis after reflection. If a ray of light is passing through the center of curvature after reflection, it will uh, come back along the same direction. Now to draw a ray diagram, we have to select any two rays. The path of any two rays we have to draw. And the intersection of at least two reflected rays give the position of the image of a point object. One point object in the image, a point in the render ray of light in the path number now we'll go to the video how to draw the ray diagram so listen carefully now we can learn how to draw the ray diagram for that we are drawing a concave mirror first we know the inside part of the concave mirror is very smooth so we will draw some lines some slanting line like this to the, on the outside now we'll mark the pole of the mirror. Pole is the center of the mirror. So here we'll mark pole, center of the mirror. Then we'll mark the center of curvature. Center of curvature is the center of the sphere of which the mirror is a part. This sphere if we are completing, what will be the center? That will be the center of curvature. So we'll mark it here. You, when you use a compass, you can see that very correctly. Where you keep, uh, fix the pin of the compass, there will be the center of the mirror. Now we will draw a line passing through C and P. That will be the principal axis that we learnt. So draw a line passing through the center of curvature and pole of the mirror. That is the principal axis. So we marked C and P. Then focus. Focus will be the midpoint between C and P. Middle point of CP will be the focus. And we learnt all the rays of light which are passing parallel to the principal axis will pass through the focus. So, how we will start the ray diagram? First, we will draw the object. Object, now here we are taking beyond C. Just for an example, we are drawing an object beyond C. So this is C, beyond C means somewhere here. Now we will mark the object as OB. OB is the object. From OB, two rays are starting. One ray starting from the top and reaches the mirror parallel to the principal axis. We will draw a ray which is starting from the object parallel to the principal axis and reaching the mirror. See, now this is parallel to the principal axis. This is principal axis parallel to that. And to show the direction, we will mark an arrow here. And we learnt the ray which is parallel to the principal axis and reaching the mirror after reflection will pass through the focus. So we have to draw like that. After reflection, the ray is passing through the focus. See, it is passing through the focus and show the direction with an arrow mark. Now we completed one ray. Now another ray, second ray we have to take. Second ray 
we can take which is passing through the center of curvature we learned the ray which is passing through the center of curvature will reflect back in the same direction so here c keep the scale like this passing through c and touching the object top of the object and the mirror we are drawing a line see the ray will reflect back in the same direction the ray which is passing through c will come back in the same direction so we can put the arrow mark like this coming in this direction going back again in the same line that is easy to draw isn't it now see from the object two rays are coming one is parallel to the principal axis passing through the focus second ray passing through c will go back in the same direction after reflection from the mirror now where the two reflected rays are meeting first ray passing through focus and the second ray passing through c both are meeting at this point at this point the image will be formed so since this point is coming below the principal axis we can say the image will be inverted and they are really meeting so it will be a real image so image formed will be real because they are really meeting we are not thinking that they are uh, acting as if they are coming from some point some or we are not producing them backwards nothing they are re reflected rays are really meeting here so the image formed will be real see it is smaller than the object real small then uh, what else it is forming between c and f right between c and f real and small also, also inverted so i told you since the point is coming below the principal axis inverted image we are getting if the meeting point was above this line we'll get direct image but here we are getting real small and inverted image this is the way we have to draw the ray diagrams summary you have to copy down into your notebook give recent questions you have to take down uh, take down from that uh, slides uh, ray diagrams you have to draw and practice usually one ray diagram from many ray diagrams you have to uh, learn at least one is a sure question for the final exam so practice it well before concluding please anyone did not subscribe my channel please subscribe it also if you are uh, thinking that this is useful please share it with your friends thank you